Good morning, everyone. And uh, first thing, I um, introduce myself. I'm uh, Simone Volpi, um, Commercial Director of uh, Case Surgery. And uh, today, uh, I will show the, the line of filler. Um, my part uh, consists in the filler line of, for the face. After my presentation, there is the presentation of the doctor for filler line Opera 5. Let's, let's go for the first uh, slide. The first product is Opera 1. Opera 1 is a soft filler. The indication for this filler is acne scar barcode, periocular wrinkle, uh, small wrinkle, obviously. The characteristic is um, the percentage of this hyaluronic acid is uh, 20 milligram per milliliter and uh, pH 7, and uh, inside the box, there is two needles of 30 gauge. The second product is Opera 2. Opera 2 is a, a medium filler. The indication for this filler is a lips, deep uh, middle folds, and the superficial middle folds of glabella. Uh, it's possible to uh, up the, the point of nose for a renal filler. The percentage in this case is uh, 22 milligram per milliliter, and the uh, pH is the same, but in this case, the needle is 27 gauge. Opera 3, Opera 3 is a strong filler. Uh, this is probably the best seller of the line. Um, because it's possible to inject this product in the, in the lip for increase the volume, uh, a big volume for the lip, for um, nasolabial folds, okay, for marionette line and for the temple. The characteristics of this product is the percentage is 24 milligram per milliliter, the pH the same, and the needle 27 gauge. Uh, the syringe, all syringe in the line is uh, uh, one ml. Opera 4 is uh, extra strong for big volume, for uh, deep far west, for cheek, for uh, pronunciation the chin and the malar area. In this case, the percentage is I, 25 milligram for milliliter. And inside the pack, there is two needles of 25 gauge. The pH is the same. Opera Rev, Opera Rev is a, a biorevitalizing. It's possible to inject this product in two, um, in two techniques. The classic technique of the multi points or the innovative technique is BAP, biostatic points. Is, uh, the indication and the results is very similar to our profile of IPSA. Uh, 20 milligram for, uh, for milliliter. Uh, the needle inside the pack is uh, 30 gauge and a very easy flow injection. And uh, this product is different because inside there is a, a small part of BDDA is cross-linked product, but uh, not for increase the volume, but for firming the, the face, firming action. Um, my presentation is uh, finished and uh, I am introduce the, the doctor, um, Dr. Marco Bericotti, and uh, he show you the um, Opera 5, the focus of today. Um, he introduced the technique, the characteristics of this product, and uh, after, the, after that, uh, there is the demo live, live session uh, with the patients. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Andavo. I'm Dr. Biricotti, I'm a general anesthetic surgeon. Today I would like to speak about uh, uh, the body filler and to reshape the body profile. <clears throat> so what are our patients looking for? Improving their body, safe and non-invasive method and uh, rapid 
of the daily activities. So fitness as a reference model or as an option, uh, actually sport activity is a good way to start reshaping gluteus or the full body, but it's not a valid and the only solution for all the patients, mainly because sometimes the shape they are looking for is quite unattainable. So, primum non nocere, first do not harm, Hippocrates. <clears throat> What are our patients looking for in my experience and usually in Italy? Gluteus, arms, and caves. Which are the solutions up to now? Uh, gluteoplasty without implants, gluteus implants, calf implants, and several strains on the arms. <clears throat> and Usually the lipofilling of the gluteal region is the best possible alternative with visible results, even if it has some complications that sometimes could discourage most of patients and some doctors. But in this uh, technique, there are a lot of complications. So bad soul, skin necrosis, serum accumulations, misplaced implants and fantasy surgeon like the uh, picture in, uh, uh, in the uh, right of the mirror, we can see uh, the scar in very fantasy area. Uh, recent uh, um, request, mostly because of the diffusion of new reference aesthetic models, is not surgical method newly used in a large scale in Italy and high percentage of complications and failures if doctors are not well supported by theoretical and practical training. So, uh, what to do then? So, learning about anatomy, uh, discover the product and now uh, the method and the technique. Anatomy of the gluteus region. So it's very important to know uh, the, this anatomy uh, before to uh, perform the procedures. And uh, uh, big and medium gluteus are thicker that sacrum where they are combined to the ligaments sacrum iliac structures. And it's very important to know the fascia because the fascia is the landmark to the plane to inject the product. The skeletal anatomy. The skeletal anatomy is very important uh, to know, uh, impo very important to know the ischiatic tuberosity because the, um, in the uh, next uh, slides we will see um, because it's a learning mark to uh, know if the patient have a ptosis of gluteus or not. Anatomy uh, of vessels and nerves is uh, less important because uh, this uh, is in a, a deeper uh, plane, so it's not interesting to the technique. Uh, the larger projection uh, should be two third higher, and the gluteal fold there shouldn't be, or at most, within the medical half to the tight. And the point of maximum projection should coincide see the ways with a line passing to the upper margins of pubis in left image. And the trochanteric depression there shouldn't be or just slightly. Discover the product. Okay, so uh, this is a product made in Italy, uh, especially a feature uh, of our product is extraordinary viscoelasticity. And uh, Opera 5 is the second filler on the market. It has been created to answer to nowadays trends, reshaping the body, therefore it works on large volumes. And uh, Opera 5 is uh, usually is uh, uh, used to arms, gluteus, and calves. The technique of injection. Okay, before it is necessary to, uh, to uh, perform an access point. Usually I use a, a 18 gouge needle or blade number 11 or a knock or uh, needle. 
slow endoretrogrid injection through 16 gauge cannula or needle. Distribution, fun technique, up to get the wished volume. Light massage of the implanted area. Uh, implanted volumes vary from 30 milliliter to 100 milliliter per gluteus. How to treat and reshape the gluteus region? Uh, using a body filler is completely different uh, than working with a facial filler. Therefore, it's necessary to have a different approach and an accurate method of application with the assurance that the patient has previously understood the achievements and the limits of the methods. Because it's very different to inject 1 ml in a face or uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 milliliter in gluteus. Uh, it's very important uh, to perform an objective static examination and objective dynamic examination before the treatment because it's very important to establish the real volume and the shape of the big gluteus muscle. Uh, show any possible defects and evaluation of this shape, volume, anatomical retrieval, possible ptosis. Ptosis, uh, bench, landmark. So uh, I can uh, use two landmarks um, named T line and M line. T line is a line that goes through the ischiatic tuberosity, and M line uh, is a vertical line through medium gluteus line. The ratio is that the gluteus fold has compared to the M and T line. And the T line determines the level of ptosis, uh, ptosis in the gluteus. Okay? So, which volume does the patient wish? How many vials are necessary? How many treatments are needed in time? So it's important to make clear the limits of the method regarding the achievement volumes. Calculate the necessary number of vials and their distribution and plan largest increases in more subsequent treatments. Preparation of treatment. So the first informed consent Second, picture and preparative drawing in the area that I would like to try to, to inject. Identify the point where to start, so the access point. And local regional anesthesia, yes or no. I usually uh, perform anesthesia in only my patients. Uh, I usually use the cannula and uh, to, in my opinion, the cannula is the best uh, uh, to use than the needle because it is uh, less invasive than the needle. Suturing the points of access, yes or not? But in my experience, usually I don't put the stitches because if the doctor don't put, don't put the stitches, uh, the patient can feel the treatment like a treatment less invasive. And bandage. This is my patient, woman, 65 years, and I use six vials in uh, right side and six vials in left side. So we can see the difference of the line of the gluteus. Okay, it's very different after the treatment. And the ischiatic tuberosity that I treat also this area. Reshape of Kelf's region. So uh, I will uh, very uh, I will uh, be very uh, short and but it's very important to know the superficial muscle groups of the calf are rapid in extensible and rigid bands. Uh, that's the reason why inflammatory or traumatic phenomena can determine an increase of the intrafascial pressure resulting in symptoms of compressions. So, in this case, mild quantity of filler, more treatments when larger volumes are needed, compressive treatments, anti edema therapy, and this recommendation is very important to avoid the compartmental syndrome. So, it's very different, okay, to uh, 
gluteus because in gluteus I can inject uh, 100 mm, milliliter uh, without complications, without a compartmental syndrome. But in this area is very important uh, uh, to inject mild quantity of filler and uh, more treatments when larger volumes are needed. Traumatic outcomes of previous surgeries, what to do? But I usually use body filler in this case, uh, in alternative to lipofilling liposolution, because lipofilling is often the ideal solution to correct traumatic outcomes of previous surgeries, but patients uh, in Italy prefer more and more less invasive or non-surgical surgery with a fast recovery. Body filler, in my opinion, is a valid alternative uh, appreciated by the patients. This is, is uh, my patient, woman, 45 years. I use uh, one box of body filler. Uh, in this case, I have a skin retraction for severe cellulitis. And in the, this other picture, this is a woman, uh, 19 years old, one vials I inject in the area that before there was an injection of canacortisone. Cortisone. Okay, now let's start with the live section. <laughs> 